Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko Textbook. In this tutorial, we will discuss the solution for problem set 2.4, problem number 2.42. Using method of projections, find the magnitude and direction of the resultant R of the four concurrent forces shown in the figure. And having the magnitudes of forces, F1 is equal to 1500 newtons, F2 2000 newtons, F3 3500 newtons and F4 1000 newtons. That means there are four forces. Our interest is to find the resultant of all these four forces. For that, let us discuss force by force. First, let us take the force F1 whose magnitude is given as 1500 newtons and this makes an angle 30 degrees with the x-axis. Hence, I can resolve this force into two components. One force is along x-axis, another force is along y-axis. The x-axis component of force is like this, y-axis component of force is like this. Since this force makes an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal, so the horizontal component is cos component that is 1500 cos 30 and the vertical component is 1500 sin 30. Let us transfer these two forces onto xy plane for easy analysis. Next take force F2 whose magnitude is given as 2000 newtons and also given that this makes an angle 45 degrees with the x-axis. Hence, the component of the forces are like this along x-axis and like this along y-axis. The magnitudes are, since this force makes an angle 45 degrees with the x-axis, so the horizontal component is 2000 cos 45 and the vertical component is 2000 sin 45. And let us transfer these force along x-axis and y-axis. Next take force F3 whose magnitude is given as 3500 newtons. But we don't know the angle made by this F3 either x-axis or y-axis. To find that some information is given. So there is a small triangle is given. This side is given as 2 and this side is given as 3. Let us assume that this makes an angle theta. So the same theta is angle made by the force with the vertical. So this tan theta I can find from this right angle triangle tan theta is equal to 2 by 3 or theta is equal to 33.69. So this theta is equal to 33.69. That means F3 makes an angle 33.69 with the vertical. So you can resolve this force F3 along x-axis and along y-axis like this. So, and this makes an angle theta with the vertical. Hence, vertical component is the cos component and horizontal component is the sine component. Hence, this x component becomes 3500 sine 33.69 and this is 3500 cos 33.69. I am transferring these two forces onto this xy plane for further analysis. And consider the last force F4 whose magnitude is given as 1000 newtons. And here also the information is of angle made by the force is not given. So you can take either this angle or this angle. Okay. So let us take this angle is alpha that means this force makes an angle alpha with the horizontal so this angle is also equals to alpha so according to this right angle triangle tan alpha is equal to 3 by 4 or alpha is equal to 36.87 this is given as 36.87 that means f4 makes an angle 36.87 with the x axis you can also take this angle and for example, this angle you can consider as beta and this becomes beta and you can also analyze further. For your understanding, here I have taken vertical and here I have taken horizontal. So I can resolve this force along x-axis. So this is my x component of force and this is my y component of the force. 
and since it makes an angle alpha with the horizontal and the horizontal component is the cos component and vertical component is the sin component now i am transferring these two forces also along x axis and y axis i have divided all the four forces along x axis and y axis so this is the resultant diagram i have divided all these forces along x axis and y axis and this is the diagram final diagram now in order to find the resultant force let us find the net force along x axis there are four forces acting along x axis 1 2 3 and 4 i consider this direction is my positive direction along for x axis so for net force along x axis is equal to 1500 cos 30 plus 1000 cos 36.87 minus 3500 sin 33.69 minus 2000 cos 45 i can simplify this and i will get fx is equal to minus 1255.6 newtons similarly i can find the net force along y axis i will take this direction is my positive direction so i will get 1500 sin 30 plus 2000 sin 45 minus 3500 cos 33.69 minus 1000 sin 36.87 i can simplify further then i will get fy minus 1347.97 newtons that means fx i am getting negative fy also i am getting negative that means along x axis is towards left side because i am getting negative here along y axis is downwards because i am getting negative here hence the resultant force will be in the third angle maybe like this how i can find the resultant force by using the formula root of fx square plus fy square and upon substituting these values i will get resultant force is equal to 1842.16 newtons and what about the angle the angle tan alpha is equal to sigma fy by sigma fx that is minus uh, 1347.97 by minus 1255.6 which gives 1.07 but here y component is negative x component is also negative but tan is positive that means this is in the third quadrant so i will get alpha is equal to 47.03 since it is in the third quadrant i need to use plus 180 so the answer is 227.03 degrees so this is my resultant force acts in this direction and the magnitude is 1842.16 and of course this angle is 47.03 but i need to represent give answer with reference to the positive x axis hence the answer is 227.03 degrees